guys welcome back okay look listen i swear i didn't buy it <laughs> i did not buy it you know i know i did that whole video begging you guys to please help me convince myself not to buy this palette because i wanted it so bad so i went through we all know i have these shades we all know i have all of these colors in my collection but that's neither here nor there because when you have bomb friends like I do who constantly enable your makeup addiction, <laughs> sometimes you get things in the mail that you never knew was coming, okay? So with all that being said, my girl Lily from Lily Living Life, okay? A lot of you guys watch both of us or you know that we're really close. My girl sent me this palette, okay? <laughs> she was just like, girl, shut up. Here's a palette. Use it. Be happy, okay? So she sent me this palette. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> okay, so I do have the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette. Now, let me just start off by saying, I don't know right now how this makeup is looking for one because I can barely see um my eyes have been watering ever since basically i started putting this eyeshadow on my eyes have been watering that has never ever happened to me before when using the eyeshadow palette never <laughs> so i don't know what it is i'm thinking it's probably this really bright neon shade that i have in my inner corner and the one that i used you know mainly in my crease area because I love that shade. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my absolute favorite of the whole palette. So I'm assuming that might be what it is because I noticed my eyes really started to get irritated in water when I was putting that on my inner corner. That's when it really got bad. So yeah, I don't know how long this video is going to be or this intro is going to intro is going to be because who knows how long I'm going to be able to barely see. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to show me swatching the palette while I'm just giving you some of my thoughts on the shades that I use. Now the shadows that I use today or the ones that really spoke to me. Look how pretty this palette is you guys. It's so pretty isn't it? But the shadows that really spoke to me um, are this the bright yellow of course this gorgeous gorgeous neon shade right here <laughs> um the purple the the pure matte deep purple um so for the mattes those were the mattes that i used on my eyes today and for the shimmers of course i wanted to try out this shimmery gold here and i also used this red shimmer here and i used the deep dark purple shimmer so out of this whole palette those were the ones that really spoke to me and i really wanted to try those out today for this first impression and so i do have some thoughts on those colors so in speaking about the yellow i feel like the yellow is nicely pigmented now a lot of times you guys know i really don't use a white base for my eyeshadow i just use either a clear one or one that's just kind of like slightly tan occasionally because i haven't been using concealer and stuff like that for a while so my base is typically just an eyeshadow base it's not anything white or bright so for the yellow it is very nicely pigmented. I really feel like if I had a white base, you would really be able to see it a lot more. I did use it, as you can see up here, just under my brow bone. That's where I put the yellow. Now, right below the yellow, I did use the coral shade, the bright, beautiful coral shade that I think is irritating me. <laughs> I did use that all in my crease because I really wanted that to be profound in this eye look today. And that color, oh my gosh. I mean, you can see it is very, very bold, very bright, very pigmented. Now, what I will say about when I was placing it in my inner corners, I did notice that the more that I tried to pack on, it was kind of removing itself. 
So I put it down and if I wanted it a little bit brighter, I would go in with a little bit more. But after I did that a couple of times, it started to remove itself. So it didn't stick. And I'm kind of not surprised about that with it being a super neon shadow, um, you know, with it kind of being powdery and so it didn't stick to itself. So what I did was I just put down a little bit of eyeshadow uh, primer where I wanted to place it and then tapped it and it stuck to that no problem. Now, any issues that I'm having with my eyeshadow right now is because my eyes have been watering like crazy. So, you know, I've had to dab and touch up and all that stuff. So I don't know what my makeup looks like right now, but I really, really like that shade. It is absolutely gorgeous to me. So much fun, so beautiful. Now for the dark purple, that's what I have on my lower lash line. Super pigmented, didn't have any issues placing it down, building it up. That color is very, very nice, you guys. Very pretty. Um, this gold shimmer, I have this gold shimmer on my lid, the inner portion of my lid. Hate it, hate it, hate it. <laughs> I do not like this. It's very flaky, chunky. You have to, I mean, it's like if you use your finger, you know, I don't know if you can see that. If you use your finger, then it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me do this so you can see. Yeah. If you use your finger, it's absolutely gorgeous on your finger. Looks really beautiful. You know, you swatch it. It's gorgeous. But you guys know I don't use fingers to put eyeshadow on my lids. So I went in with a little foam applicator. Well, the brush, I tried to use a brush. Nothing showed up. I mean, absolutely nothing showed up. So I went in with a sponge applicator and I was able to get it to lay down, but it was very chunky, very flaky, a lot of fallout. It was just a hot steamy mess so yeah that gold shimmer do not like it at all i will not use that ever again because i have so many other beautiful gold shimmers in my collection so no i don't like it this red shimmer down here very very pretty that red shimmer it laid down very nicely gorgeous gorgeous shade um, nicely pigmented, very, very pretty. I really just kind of tapped that on the center right on top of that gold. I didn't want it to be like super duper pigmented on my lid. I just kind of tapped it down so that I can blend the gold with the purple. So that's really what I use that for today. Um, but very, very pretty. I do like that shadow. And for the purple shimmer, very, very pretty. This purple shimmer down here is nicely pigmented. I really, really like that as well. I can't say that it, oh, it's my favorite purple shimmer in the world, but it's a very beautiful kind of warm tone purple shade. Is that warm? Maybe that's cool. I don't know. It's this shimmer right here. Is that warm or cool? It kind of looks warm to me. This looks like a cool tone purple, but this shimmer, I don't know. Anyway, it's very, very pretty. So that's what I have just gently tapped on the outer portion of this cut crease. I wanted my cut crease just to be kind of soft, not too harsh and bright today. I really wanted the coral color to stand out. So that's why there's so much focus on the coral and the lower lash line. So anyways, just my first impression on this palette. It's a nice palette. It really is. Um, the mattes, I really like how they uh, place down and blend it out. I feel like I, there's nothing that I can say about this palette like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. It's so wonderful. No, it's just a decent Morphe palette. <laughs> it really is. Um, it has its pros. It has its cons. Like I said, this gold is really, really disappointing because it seems like that is supposed to be like a standout shimmer in this palette and I hate it. So Anyways, um, aside from <laughs> me having issues with my eyes watering and being irritated, I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to try and use it again, you guys, without the neon shade just to see if it is just that shadow or if it's the palette itself. So other than that, I'm really, really happy that I have it. Of course, I'm blessed to have a wonderful friend to send it to me. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
but yeah you guys i'm not sure how this uh tutorial is gonna be it's just gonna be a quick cut up <laughs> i might talk through it i might just add music i don't know i have to look at the footage <laughs> how much of it is usable so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video talking about this Jaclyn Hill palette and my thoughts and first impression on it and that's about it so if you'd like to see how I created this look today stay tuned because it's coming up next mm -hmm.